Hey, blessings to you, brothers and sisters, man. Blessings to you. Uh, I want to talk about contending. Uh, contending for the faith. In the hour that we're living in, the world that we're living in right now, it's very difficult for... Uh, uh, I would say not difficult, but I would say that it is very... That there are things that kind of keep you from uh, uh, desiring more uh, 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 of the kingdom of God if you allow the world to become your sanctuary, if you understand what I'm saying, or the world to become your uh, your inhabitation, your world to become your playpen, if you understand what I'm saying. The Father told us, Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, He says, store up your riches in heaven and not in the earth. Where we are right now, the things that are going on in the earth, you can see the economy is shifting, you see things are shifting, you see people are are getting afraid about their 401ks, about the things that are going on in the earth. And many people are looking at the world right now and they're trying to find a way to hide themselves. And when I say hide themselves, they're trying to find a way to hide their finances in Roths and 401ks and, 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 and gold and silver. And I want somebody to know, even that man or that woman right now, to say, hey, you know, you should put your money uh, in gold. You know, it says even in the scriptures that the gold will be thrown out in the streets. The gold and the silver will be thrown out in the streets because it become worthless. And it will. Because he says in the book of Revelation chapter 13 that no man... <laughs> not some, not partial, not maybe. He said that no man will be able to buy a seller trailer unless he received the mark of this in his right hand or in his forehead, right? But when you understand that, there's some characteristics there that we have to look out for. The image of the beast. And we see that the image of the beast is being put together as we speak when we say technology, right? When we say AI. When we say uh, 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 the image of the beast, let's go deeper than that. The image of the beast could be what you see. Because he says that if your eye causes you to sin, or your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. Not literally physically cut it off, but remove your hand, remove yourself from the, the stain. Remove yourself from the desire. And... If your desire is in, thank you for the rock, Hakadash. If your desire is in the world, then you will become what you touch, what your heart, where, wherever your heart is, that's where your treasure will be also. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So wherever your heart is, that's where your treasure will be also. And when, when, when I'm understanding that now, I'm understanding that this image of the beast is is bigger than what you can see. This is a spiritual uh, image here. This is a this is a image of, of first and foremost uh, of the flesh, right? 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 You get get it now. Go back to the, uh, Genesis one and one at, in the Garden of Eden, where 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 uh, uh, Adam, right, and Eve, you know, they were in the garden at the beginning. All things were flourishing the way that they were, you know. Didn't have to understand the situation with sin. Didn't see none of those things. It, everything was in its place the way Elohim placed it, the way Elohim wanted it to be. Until that image of the beast came, Hasatan, Beelzebub, Satan. When he came, then things start to change, right? And that thing, and then then that's when uh, uh, Eve was deceived. By the deceiver, by the, the one who deceives even to this day, right? And if we're not careful as believers, takes you to the, the book of Adam and Eve, where it talks about how Hasatan was a deceiver since the beginning and how he continued to deceive Adam and Eve through their lifespan for I think a little over 50 years or 50 years. <coughs> So if, if we don't understand that the image of the beast, one moment. So if we don't understand that the image of the beast is bigger than 
what you see. You got to understand that physically, we must be in the ark of safety. Physically and spiritually, we must, must desire the image of God. And what is the image of God? What is the image of Elohim? Yeshua, Yahweh, Yehovah, Jesus Christ. Right? That's the image. So we have to put on the image of God because the image of the beast is out. So now we have to be what? The image of Elohim. So once we're the image of Elohim, then we won't look or portray like the world. Are you, are you, are you catching me? Are you, are, you, are, you, are you hearing what I'm saying? So, so let us put on the image of God and not the image of the beast. Because the image of the beast will cause you to go to where? To the lake of fire. Hell, if you want to call it that. And I know many people want to try to de debunk that and hell is this and hell is that. No. For eternity. There ain't no coming back. There ain't no purgatory. So, let us even in this hour in 2024 and beyond too. Seek the kingdom of Elohim. Seek the kingdom of God, right? And all his righteousness. Then he says, then all those things shall be added, 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 added. You want to store up your riches in the kingdom, not in the earth. Because as we're storing it up in the kingdom, the Father is going to start adding the things that, that is desired to our heart. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to take you out of this out of these, this Babylonian uh, uh, system that sadly we're in. A, a system that you never really will be free from it once until we leave this earth. Right. But as, as we decrease and he increases, he will give you the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding how to separate yourself from the desires of this life. And that's what holiness is, being set apart. To him, hallelujah, set apart to him. That's what he wants for his people. But many are called, but few are chosen. Who are they? Who are my brothers? They that do the will of my father. You got to do the will of the father. What is the will of the father? <laughs> Keep his commandments, for they are not grievous. Keep them. No more faking it till you make it. No more saying that it doesn't apply to me. Well, it applies to you. Because it is sealed, written, and the heaven carved in stone. It's in the ark. It's in the ark of the covenant, yes. But it says, guard the commandments within thee and within thy heart. Hallelujah. Guard them. And just walk as he walked. That's it. Walk as the Messiah walked. I know it's hard. But we're talking about the image, the image of the Messiah, the image of Yehovah. Be blessed, be encouraged. Just want to share that. King coming.